In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to set up and download the TerraStation wallet. I'll show you how to set up both the browser extension and the downloadable desktop application and connect them together. So if that does interest you, be sure to stick with me until the very end. Without further ado, let's get right into it. My name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the cryptocurrency markets. Now to set up the TerraStation wallet, the first step is to get the browser extension. And to do that, you need to come on over here to terra.money. I will leave the link down in the description below. Now once you are at terra.money, up here on the top of the screen where it says learn, you wanna click the little down arrow. Now over here you're gonna see wallet TerraStation and download wallet Chrome extension. So let's go ahead and select the Chrome extension option and get this set up on your browser. You can either use Chrome or Brave browser, both of them do work. So let's go ahead and add this to Chrome, add the extension. Okay, so the TerraStation wallet has been added to Chrome. We can now get out of the Chrome store and let's go ahead and start setting up our TerraStation wallet. So we're gonna want to pin TerraStation right it's click on the little puzzle piece on the top right of your browser now once i select terra station over here we're going to want to make a brand new wallet so we'll hit new wallet and it's going to open up in a new window so make a wallet name and create a password now after you make your wallet name and password you're going to see right here the monomic seed phrase this is the key to your funds if you were ever to lose your device it is extremely important you never share this seed phrase with anybody you don't keep it on your computer on a file it's best to put it somewhere that is not online at all so don't make a screenshot make sure it's not online at all you can write it down on something like a piece of paper and put that somewhere where nobody will ever see it. So be sure to write down the seed phrase. Now, after you do that, we'll continue. So after you save your seed phrase, go ahead and check the box that you've written it down. And now it's gonna test you to make sure you actually did write it down. So go ahead and select the prompts that it does actually give for you. So let's go ahead and select our prompts. Now we'll hit submit. After that, our wallet has been successfully generated. It shows us the wallet name we selected and then the wallet address that is given to us. So let's go ahead and connect. So now we don't have any coins in our wallet, but we do have our wallet address here. So we, what we can do is we can actually fund our wallet. There are many different exchanges that do carry the Luna token. I will show you right now that Luna is carried on. It's $79 right now, and you can get it on Binance as well as OKX Qcoin. Osmosis, the decentralized exchange, crypto.com, another main centralized exchange, MEXC Global, Kraken. For this video right now, I will show you how to use crypto.com to fund your TerraStation wallet with Luna. I like crypto.com because it allows you to send native Luna, not Ethereum, and then you have to bridge it over. So you can now see on my phone right here with the screen share that I do have one Luna in my wallet. Now it's very simple to actually transfer out. By the way, if you don't have a crypto.com account yet, be sure to use my link down in the description below for a free bonus. And I have a full video tutorial on how to use this mobile application. I will leave a card right here. Now to transfer your Luna out, you're gonna wanna hit transfer over here on the top right of the screen. So let's hit transfer and then withdraw. Now we wanna use an external wallet. So let's select external wallet from the bottom. And we want to add a new wallet. So we'll add a new wallet address. And it's very simple. We can just pull up the QR code, scan it. And there is no memo. So we can hit no memo required. And we'll call this the tutorial wallet. And then hit continue. And we don't need a memo. So now all we need to do is put in our two-factor code. And we can actually go ahead and send our Luna. So we'll go ahead and paste the code. And now the Luna is ready to be withdrawn. So we will withdraw to the tutorial wallet, select that. And we will make sure that we go ahead and withdraw the max Luna we have, which is one. And then go ahead and hit withdraw and confirm that. So again, we will paste our two-factor code in there. 
and we have successfully withdrawn our Luna from the exchange to the Terra Station wallet. That is how you fund it. It is a very simple process. And now let's go ahead and show you how to actually set up the wallet with the downloadable desktop Terra Station application. So to get that, you're going to want to come again back to Terra.money and you're going to want to hit the iOS wallet or the Mac OS download here. And this will actually go ahead and download the Terra Station wallet to your desktop. Now I already have it installed so I can show you what it looks like right here. So this is what the Terra Station desktop wallet does look like. Now it's very similar to the extension. The only difference is there's a lot more things that we can do directly in the desktop application such as we can use TerraSwap. So we can swap between multiple coins right here in our wallet. We can also stake our Luna by delegating it to a validator. I've shown you how to do that in a previous video. I will leave a card right here. You can also see your NFTs and you can vote on governance proposals as well. Now to actually add your wallet, you're gonna to wanna to hit the top right and you're going to wanna manage your wallets. Now from here, you're going to want to recover a wallet. So we will go ahead and select the recover wallet option. And now you can put a different name and password in but the monomic seed phrase that you enter is going to be the same. So you can use any wallet name, any password. It doesn't have to be the same, but I will use the tutorial wallet again. Now, after you create a brand new wallet name and password or use the same one as your browser extension, it's time to input that same 24 word seed phrase that you just wrote down from the web extension wallet. So go ahead and do that right now. So after you put in all 24 words, just hit submit and we have successfully connected our wallet. And as we can see right here, we did get 0.985 Luna. Crypto.com did take a small fee, but this right here is how you set up and fund your Terra Station wallet as a complete beginner from scratch. I hope that you did enjoy this quick tutorial beginner video on how to set up the Terra Station wallet. If you did learn something, if you did enjoy it, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. And if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.